Japan has three more technologies to explore before choosing one to help Ecopolis 2050 survive. Urban farming tackles carbon emissions from trucking food to town. Next, a revolutionary technology to keep that food cool and fresh. Meet the futuristic fridge that makes more noise than a jet plane, but is totally silent. Ecopolis is a typical megacity of 2050. It swarms with 18 million people whose consumption is polluting the planet. Among the biggest hidden causes of its greenhouse emissions, keeping food and drink cold. Nobel scientist Dan Kamen is on a mission to help us survive life in future cities. Kamen has to choose the right technology to prevent catastrophe. And he knows that finding new ways to cool food is a critical part of the challenge. So what we have is a very old technology using a number of compounds that we now know to be very bad for the environment. That means that refrigeration and freezing is really due for a wave of innovation to get the dirty chemicals out of the process. Imagine a technology that uses sound to make things cold. It seems incredible, but one day sports fans' cheers could power a stadium's air conditioning and chill the beers. And noise from incoming trains might control a station's climate. How on earth could that work? It's one audacious scientist's mind-blowing vision. He's not a time traveler, but his futuristic invention comes straight out of science fiction. John Corey believes his invention can help save the planet, and he staked everything on its success. I'm so excited by this technology that I sold my other businesses and have focused exclusively on developing this. It's a bit of a challenge, a bit of a risk, but it's important and I think it's going to work. In an old firehouse in Troy, New York, Corey and his team are perfecting a highly efficient thermoacoustic cryocooler. A refrigerator that runs on sound. Who would think you could use sound for refrigeration and do it all quietly by containing it in the machine? It's not something the everyday person would think about. Turn up the volume to make the food cooler. This is where many fridges end up, leaking harmful gases into the atmosphere. The newer HFC gases are less damaging to the ozone layer than the CFC gases they replace. But there's a big downside. HFCs are 12,000 times more potent as greenhouse gases than carbon dioxide. And their use is set to balloon. As people move into Acopolis and make more money, they'll buy fridges and freezers to keep food and drink fresh. So by 2050, the city's fridges will cause four times more greenhouse gas emissions than they do today. Cooling is needed everywhere in the world for all kinds of applications, from cooling buildings to storing food to doing all sorts of medical support. There's lots of need for efficient, environmentally sound cooling. Cities of the future will need new refrigeration methods. And Corey is convinced that sound waves can replace refrigerant gases. But just how can sound cool things down? All sound is a series of high and low pressures, traveling as waves. Our ears convert these pressures into what we recognize as sound. And sound waves are packed with energy, as seen in a simple demonstration with a dime store air gun. This is just a child's toy, but it demonstrates how sound can send power through the air. When the gun is fired, a high-pressure sound wave leaves the barrel, traveling as a succession of rapid compressions and expansions. The acoustic drive at the heart of Corey's invention creates sound energy in a similar way. It's a little bit like a loudspeaker, it goes back and forth, but it's more like a motor. A loudspeaker isn't very efficient because it has to reproduce a wide range of pitches. But we run at one frequency so we can tune it to a very high efficiency. It's a bit like a loudspeaker on steroids. There is a problem. The sound level needed to drive the cooling process is colossal. 50 decibels is normal conversational voice. 120 decibels, the sound of a loud rock concert, it's a threshold of pain, it's like a rifle shot next to your head. 150 decibels, the sound of a jet engine next to you. And 180 decibels, the sound of the Krakatoa volcano exploding. And this, 
This can make 198 decibels. But why am I talking quietly now? Well, this is in our coolers. It's fully enclosed, high pressure helium, because you couldn't make sound that loud in one atmosphere of air. But because it's enclosed, we can drive that power, we can make cold, and it's quiet and it's safe. Corey's fridge may be as loud as a jet, but luckily we don't hear a whisper. High pressure gas in the drive suppresses the sound level. The steel casing keeps noise from escaping, making the device silent. The next stage uses sound wave energy to create extremes of temperature. At the cooler's core is a chamber filled with helium, a harmless gas. The acoustic drive fires sound waves into the gas. This creates areas of high pressure and low pressure. Where pressure is high, helium molecules are compressed. This makes them very hot. In low pressure areas, the helium expands, getting extremely cold. But here's the trick. The chamber is designed so most of the compression happens at one end, keeping the temperature high there, while most of the expansion happens at the other end, creating extreme cold in that area. Pipes carry away the heat, leaving just the super cold helium, a safe refrigerant gas cooled entirely by sound. This is how your food could be cooled in the future. So this is a acoustic cryo cooler. The motors are over here and they drive the sound to this end. You can see overall it's quiet. The sound is trapped inside, doesn't shake, no vibration, but it gets really cold at this end. You can see it's freezing the water vapor from the air. We can measure exactly how cold it is with a special low temperature thermometer. Minus 177 Celsius right now. Pretty cold, not quite cold enough to freeze air, but it'll freeze water pretty quick. Now that's cold. The acoustic cooler has another major advantage over traditional refrigerators. This is a condenser. We don't need this in an acoustic fridge. And this is the motor and compressor. We don't need that in an acoustic fridge either. And this is the expansion valve. Totally unnecessary. Having no moving parts means the acoustic cooler has a longer lifespan than the old style fridge. They have no internal rubbing or rolling parts so there's no need for oil and they don't wear out so they should last a lot longer and not need to be manufactured as often. A fridge that lasts longer does more than make consumers happy. It cuts the carbon emitted in making new fridges. And the simplicity of Corey's design has drawn the interest of a major customer, the US Army. Not just because of its green credentials but because it's tough enough to drop from planes. Corey's cooler carries a $10,000 price tag, putting it out of reach for most of us, for now. But he thinks that one day it will help us survive the future. If we could replace all of the refrigerators and air conditioners that are in the world now with acoustic coolers, we'd eliminate any chance of them contributing to the global warming effect from the releases of their working fluids. We'd eliminate any risk to the ozone layer. And properly installed, we could reduce some of the electric demand as well.